How you doing, everyone? Uh, Reverend Just Focal Song, Touch by God Church. And um, we're going to take a look at part three of Earth, an Arena of War. Now let's take a look, alright? Part three. An attack upon the Redeemer himself. When Jesus was born, Satan's hatred reached a new zenith. His anger was white heat. The entire human um, life of Christ is Satan's attempt to murder him and keep him from being the deliverer of his people. If the plan of Christ succeeds, Satan fails. A lot was at stake in the life and ministry of Christ. King Herod became an instrument of Satan to murder all children two years of age and younger. In an attempt, in an attempt to get Christ in this mass murder. This plan foiled and th this, pan uh, this plan failed at this first the first public manifestation of Jesus ministry Satan personally undertook the task of causing Jesus to fail. Matthew 4 is that account of this grueling ordeal for Jesus. The focal point of the of the temptations of Satan was to get Jesus to turn from the will of the Father and exercise and exercise independence. The same cause of sin in the first place, both with Lucifer, Satan, in heaven and Adam and Eve on this planet. If Satan could get Jesus to exercise an independent will, the covenant with the God with God the Father would be broken and all hope for lost mankind would disappear. Simply stated, Jesus was a success and Satan a failure. Failing in this direct approach upon Jesus, Satan changed his guise. He worked through the self-centered religious centered uh, leaders, religious leaders, and infiltrated infiltrated church itself. So it wasn't going to work to get rid of Christ. Then he would make sure that church itself would be reduced to rituals, liturgy, and rules. The heart and spirit of church would be crushed out. It would, it would be okay for people to attend as long as there was no gospel being taught there. The first four Gospels of the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, reveal the struggle between Jesus and the church itself. Satan had indeed captured the minds of the church leaders so that they themselves plotted to murder the murder of Christ. But even Calvary, which they thought was the accomplishment of this devilish plot, was a victory for God. Jesus was not, ki was not killed. He gave his life as a ransom for the world. Through the ministry of Christ, Satan became increasingly desperate and increased his intensity. Finally, from his vantage point, his purposes were accomplished at Calvary. He was absolutely certain he had won the battle of the universe. The battle of this universe. The one who was the Redeemer, the Savior of his people, was now brutally murdered. And by the church leaders themselves. What a twist of irony. But in that death, shock as it must have been to Satan, the fulfillment of Genesis 3.15 came to pass. Calvary totally exposed Satan for who and what he was. Thanks to, to, to Calvary, all doubts about the good intentions of Lucifer became Satan were removed. There was no longer any question about his character and purposes. The allegiance of the angelic forces and the unfallen world was made secure thanks to Calvary. Satan tr tipped his hand at Calvary and guaranteeing the triumph of the forces of God. Thanks to Calvary, the allegiance of the human family 
towards the government of God would be a reality. Today, we are living in the middle of this controversy. But thanks to Calvary, the bottom line has been written. The final chapter has been added in life's great book. Jesus Christ is the victor. Satan's kingdom has already been destroyed. There, is, there still remains, however, the outplay of this struggle. This is where we live today. This is where we are today. This is why we have problems and difficulties. That's why there is suffering, sickness, adversity, travesty, death. While all the evidence is in, there has, has not yet sounded the bell for the end of the contest. Until that bell sounds, or that trumpet sounds, until that's, that sound you'll hear, we will have struggles and conflicts. But if we understand the framework, it will give us a perspective which provides our lives with meaningful answer. Provide our lives with meaningful answers. All right? All right, uh, so wow, uh, an amazing, um, amazing lesson. Earth is, was, and still is today, an arena of war. America is in struggle, as you know. God is second, is, was, is being placed secondary here in, here in uh, America, where the founding for, the fathers put him first. God himself, through Jesus, is a founding father, is our founding, founding father. And let's not forget that. Put God first. He would be very happy, and, you'll, and if we did as a nation, you would see things turning around. So let's stop right there. This is Reverend Jess Vogelson from Touched by God Church. Dot com and also you'll find us on Facebook, Touched by God Church World Ministries. And we post these videos uh, nearly every day, so take a look, all right? Again, God blessings to you and all of yours today.